Have you ever been talking to someone and they say something like, I really want a new job, but the, the job market is really hard right now and there aren't a lot of jobs in tech and so I should just stay where I am. Or I really want a new apartment, but it's impossible to find new apartments here in Zurich. I'm gonna stay where I am. Or I really want a relationship. I, I would like to be with someone but I've never had a traditional relationship before and I think maybe I'm just not the kind of person who can have a traditional relationship. Maybe you have talked to people who, who tell you these stories or maybe you hear yourself telling these stories. So as a coach, I am trained to help people recognize when they are living from a place of doubt versus living from a place of vision. So when you're living in a place of doubt, you're letting these thoughts of doubt, like the job market is really tough, it's impossible to find an apartment, I'm not the kind of person who can have a committed relationship like that. These are just doubtful thoughts that prevent us from going for what we truly want. And as a, a coach, I want to share that <laughs> Well, first I just want to share that I, I'm now thinking of those signs, those posters on the walls at school that said, if you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs> and believe in yourself. So I always looked at those and I thought, what does that mean? Like it didn't, didn't speak to me at all until I started studying this stuff and I realized, oh, okay, that, that's what it means. It's, it's, it's a nice phrase and it's kind of empty, but when you dig in, you recognize that it actually is so important to train yourself to believe in your hopes, to believe in your dreams, to believe in yourself in order to create what you want in your life. And a way to do that is to focus on what it is you want, to focus on what it is you desire, and to focus on the reasons why you can. Focus on the reasons why you can instead of focusing on the reasons why you cannot. So when you find yourself or when you're talking to someone and you hear that, I want this but, I want this but, or I want this, the problem is, the problem is, the problem is, we're always talking about what the problem is instead of focusing on all the reasons why it can work out, all the reasons why you can do it, all the resources why you, that you do have at your disposal to, to create what it is. So I want to give three things to focus on um, that, that help you to continue to believe in your desire instead of getting focused on all this doubt. And I'll tell you, it's, it takes discipline to focus on what you want to believe in yourself. It's easy to get caught up in the doubt. Like it's so easy if you're being lazy or if you're not aware of your thoughts, it's so, that's gonna be your automatic pilot. So it takes something from you. It takes something from you to have the self-awareness to recognize that you're having the doubtful thought in the first place and then to do something about it instead of letting this automatic, these automatic beliefs that just aren't even true, honestly. They're just doubtful beliefs that are not even true. They're just thoughts. To, it takes something from you to let those go and to choose to believe instead in, in your dream. So the first thing is to focus on, I already said this, is to focus on what you want. So when you're talking about your desire or you're writing about it or you're thinking about it, just say, I want a relationship, period. Not but, not anything else. Unless you're saying, I want a relationship because or I want a relationship and it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Train yourself to focus on what it is that you want instead of focusing on the doubt. That's the first thing. The second thing is to focus on your zone of control. So a relationship is particularly interesting to talk about this because because of course a relationship, creating a relationship is a two-way street. So you have to have two people who are into the relationship and there are factors you can't control. It's true in every situation, but especially for a relationship, this is relevant. So, um, so there are factors you can't control, but there are factors that you can control. 
So focus on what it is you can control. What can I control if I want a relationship? I can control that I am dressing and presenting myself in a way that makes me feel really good and confident. I can control that I am doing activities that bring me joy and that I am keeping my mood high and my, my, my level of joy in my life high because that's very attractive and interesting to people. I can control that I am creating my space around me and that, that my space has room for another person. Um, there, are, there are so many things in your zone of control. So you can focus within your zone of control and, and that can help to also bolster, to boost your belief in, in that you can create this relationship that you want. Same thing in a, in a job or if we're finding an apartment, whatever it is you desire, there are things within your zone of control that you can do and focus on. The third thing is that you are committed to figuring it out no matter what. So that's a mindset of, it's a, you can call it a growth mindset or a problem solving mindset, but you have an engagement with your dream that is you know, this, this didn't work, but that's okay. I have a new, I have a new way that I can try it instead of letting a, a failure, this didn't work. This relationship didn't work. My date didn't go well, letting that send you down into the spiral of doubt and negative thought instead saying, being in the energy of that's okay. I'm, I'm ready for the next one. I'm letting that go. It's just, it's not a big deal and I'm committed to figuring this out however I can. Committing to fit or, committed to figuring this out however I can. So those are the three things that kind of summarize this, this believe in yourself idea. What does that really mean? Well, it means you're focused on what you want and why. You're focused on your zone of control, what you can really do within your zone of control. And you're committed to figuring it out no matter what it takes. So I hope that serves you. Um, I, this is something that I'm so passionate about for my own life and how I want to live and be engaged with my dreams, but also for my clients and, and for the world because we, I, we need more people who are passionate and who are following their dreams and who are committed to figuring it out and who are committed to being being focused on why things are possible. We can, we can create the world that we really want to live in. And it takes this kind of discipline and self-awareness and focus. So I hope that serves you today. And I'm wishing you a positive and hopeful focused day. <laughs>